there is a danger involved with the USB, the onboard USB power on my motorcycle, the way I have it set up. And that danger is that it's possible for this cable here to become unplugged, detached, without my noticing, which will just kill the battery on the camera. Oops. Causing me to become stupid. Causing the camera to die and me to lose a video. Hopefully only one video. If I'm lucky, not the entire card will have been corrupted and you'll be catching this part of the recording. Let's look. I might have done all my topics. I'm really curious what caused this to become detached so that I could prevent it from happening again. God, I wish this was like six inches shorter. I'm probably gonna have to buy more cables so I can chop them up and modify them. Oh yeah, check my topics. Stories, okay, so I talked about the totaled bike at Pierce and getting pulled over. Oh, I wanna talk about the drift cam sucking at night. That's really actually all I have to say about it. Power tool theft, already did that. SC to OC, no highway, that's what I'm doing. So I guess we'd better do it. Is this plugged in? Now I'm paranoid. Super paranoid. Montebello. I have no idea where I am or where Montebello is, but I am in it. I think eventually I'll cross a street called Rose something. Rose something. Highway 19. And then I can take that south and it'll get me over the mountains. Maple Avenue. Is, does that sound familiar? I don't even know. Polly's Pies. Polly's Pies is all right. I guess it's as good as any other chain. Pie House. Actually, a pie house that I really like is called House of Pie. And it's not because their pies or their dinners are all that great. They, they aren't all that great. They're, they're good. They're solid. They're nothing to write home about. The reason I like it is because on the outside it says House of Pie, House of P-I-E, but when you go inside, on the interior of the restaurant, it says House of Pie. The symbol. The mathematical symbol. <laughs> pie, of course, being the uh, mathematical result of calculating the number of radians in one half of a circle. Montebello! Montebello! I'm used to having my medical needs taken care of at sort of a modernized HMO. I've got my healthcare through Kaiser right now. So when I see these standalone, privately owned hospitals, it sort of freaks me out thinking about what it must be like to sort of have to find your own uh, primary care doctor and, you know, find your own, you know, get referrals to specialists and stuff. Because when you're the, a member of an HMO, everything's self-contained. You know, they'll provide you a doctor, and of course, if you don't like your doctor, you're allowed to switch. You can request a new doctor. You can try out a number of doctors. Uh, they'll all be doctors within the HMO, but you're not stuck with one doctor. And then, of course, if something happens, if you need an x-ray, if you need a lab test, if you need to see a sports medicine doctor, if you need it, anything like that, then, you know, they probably have a guy in the same building. They'll have a lab, they'll have an x-ray machine, they'll have everything on the compound compound, complex, whatever you want to call it, campus. So it's easy. It's just super easy to get taken care of. And I mean, you have to sort of know how to work the system a little bit, but if you, once you learn how to work the system a little bit, oh man, it's just, you can get such, such, such good care out of an HMO. I think it's worth it. I'm not sure, but it might actually save you money in the long term as well. Oh, I could talk about health insurance. Why don't I talk about health insurance? That's a good idea. So yeah, why don't I talk about healthcare? Uh, I recently got laid off from my job. I don't actually remember if I've talked about that in any of my videos yet, but I did recently get laid off. So, uh, of course, when you get laid off from a company that offers health insurance, you lose your health insurance, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can go on what they call COBRA, which is an acronym for something that means nothing to me. 
So I lost my job and I looked at the cost of Cobra and it was like 300 something dollars a month. And I started shopping around because I didn't want to pay $300 a month. So I looked into getting an individual plan with Kaiser and I looked into getting an individual plan with uh, Anthem Blue Cross. And Anthem Blue Cross accepted me. But their plans are not very good. In other words, the, uh, they're all like deductible plans and stuff. So I, th I think you can get co-play plans, but they'd be more expensive. And the deductible plans, basically what a deductible plan means is that you have to pay full price for all of your medical needs until you reach the price, the cost of the deductible, the, or the, whatever the number for the deductible, and then you start paying co-pays for stuff. But for a lot of procedures and things, you still have to pay co-insurance for. Uh, I'm just not very aggressive today. More aggressive than I thought, I guess. Uh, make up your mind, purple car. So those plans kind of suck, and uh, also, I mean, even if you were to get a good plan through Blue Cross, they're all PPO plans, which means you, if, you're, if you're not part of an HMO, you have to go find all your own doctors and everything. So it's just, I didn't want to deal with all that pain in the ass and everything, but they did accept me when I applied, so I was eligible for health plans as cheap as $100 a month, but again, these are deductible plans and things that would have been super expensive at the time I actually needed the care and would have been a pain in the ass to actually get the care so I said no thank you Blue Cross and I went to Kaiser you know I, I kept Blue Cross on the line but I said I'm probably not going to go with you guys so I applied at Kaiser and the first thing that happened at Kaiser was they rejected me what happened was they said because I had had my appendix out I had a pre-existing condition that disqualified me for Kaiser coverage. I guess I'll just let that sink in and digest with you a little bit. Let that just let that sort of let that seed grow in your mind for a second. I had my appendix out. That's a pre-existing condition. So I ended up going through the appeals process with Kaiser, which took, you know, ages and ages. And at the end, they finally approved me for a plan that was like $220 a month, which sounded good at the time because it was cheaper than the, the Cobra alternative, but that was Kaiser's version of the deductible plan, which I did not want to pay for. I didn't want to pay full price for all my medical care until I reached some expensive deductible number. So what we ended up doing, I, I won't tell you what we ended up doing, but I managed somehow to get myself on a group plan again so that I could uh, be covered on what's called the copay plan. So there's no deductible that I need to meet. I just start paying copays from the beginning. And the premium's more expensive, but I think it's worth it because uh, I'm going to be paying right around $3,500 a year in premiums, but I'm paying copays instantly, which means I don't have to pay for any actual medical procedures. And my out-of-pocket maximum, should any outside costs arise, is like $3,000, which isn't that much in the grand scheme of things. So I'm very happy with how things turned out, but it was a nightmare getting to that point.